Hello everybody and of course welcome back to Dickies videos where no war game remains unplayed and as promised before I have covered this before in my demos preview but yet again we come back to of course the Fertile Crescent this please check the link below to the Steam store it is a, a thing to check out and this I really enjoyed playing the demo and I've not played it since on purpose because I don't want you to spoil my first reaction and I'll always tell the truth how I feel about a game so we've got a, a classic RTS uh, game uh, we're gonna go and jump into a skirmish game um, and we're gonna do it I'm gonna be you know play a familiar uh, and we're just gonna see how the game actually plays against just a computer player so I've got a, a, um, a, a generic way I know how to play this game uh, but it's all about generating food uh, generating food, generating um, what's the word? Generating food uh, to to get to don't get starvation. Uh, so, and this is the first time I played it since the demo. So I'm gonna see if I can actually uh, win against a, a computer player. Uh, let's see what we could do. Remember, we don't want to get starvation. We want food as quickly as possible. Uh, wood uh, population. So population is gonna keep growing. Uh, let's see if we can beat the computer player. Uh, oh, God, you know what? It, I feel like the, the, the pressure's on a little bit here, actually. Uh, we're minus seven food at the moment in time. Uh, I want to get a granary up. And got 50 wood for a bloody farm. What? All right, everybody's hunting food straight away. Uh, I'm going to get... I need to get people on that bloody... Uh, get on food production. I need to get that wood up. That wood... Wood and get that first farm up. So I wonder if we could build a farm. And can it just go straight... Can it collect straight to the village centre for food? Oh god, we've got boars. We've got boars here. That's like proper amount of food that was. So archery range, granary. Uh, villagers can drop off any food here. But it seems you get no bonus for the uh, the, the granary itself. Alright lads, I mean, I mean... Can this scout auto-scout? Get, scout him down. Okay. Uh, 50 food, though. I'm going to have to properly just be knocking some wood. I'm going to have to be knocking... Okay, so we're still minus 10 food. We've got to be careful here. Alright, let's see where this enemy computer is. So we've got... Uh, antelope. Still, still food. Still minus food. This scout has slightly bigger range. Uh, twenty-five wood. So we've got gate, wall, palace. Gives access to intelligence, advanced military units. Adds eight housing spaces, garrison troops. I would like to get a clay pit at some point. And get clay produced so we could drop it off of this resource center see so yeah, i wonder if the clay pit after it goes does it just vanish and we need housing here as well to start getting more uh, more people god things are expensive so it seems like the are the um balls neutral yeah the ball the animals are neutral Okay, 75 wood. We're still at a minus 11 food. Uh, so we could still, but we need a dwelling. I mean, see, what, what? Uh, what's dwelling? F oh, it's clay. Clay, clay, clay. So it's still minus 20. F uh, okay, we've got two research, which isn't enough. So remember, food is going to generate as uh, research here. Lack of housing. Gold needed. All right, that should be enough for a uh, uh, dwelling. There we go. Okay, we've got three. Uh, so we've got farming speed, wood cutting speed. Yeah, because wood is uh, a major issue right now. And there you go. We're at 2.5 uh, accumulator. Right, I don't know. I'm... Actually, this is quite a nice game, guys. This is, I'm actually, <laughs> this is actually really enjoyable. I mean, do trees grow back? This is the question with Fertile Crescent. 
I've not seen any aggressive animals yet, uh, but I, I feel like I really, really want a barracks and a military. Uh, 100 clay, that is. Jesus. Uh, plenty. Oh, I've got plenty of wood now, which is... Uh, Okay, what is the what is the uh, 100 clay? So this is 100 clay. That's the main thing here. We should get that quite easy next. Oh, no, you, you're back to doing that farm. Uh, so does every time that hits there, do we get another research? Or is this one? Yeah, every time that hits the, the blue line, goes to the left, that gets us another research. So food, food is just the way to go and we've got the uh, barracks which is fantastic my god you can strip resources quite quickly here uh, so yeah it just seems like farms don't have to regenerate it just seems That should be another research after that hits the... Oh, no, it pauses the game with re clicking the research finger. That's interesting to know. It doesn't prompt you after that first one. So that's militia, elite slingers. That's improved mining, siege, plow, farming speed. So then we don't have to worry about food as much. Okay, so that's the barracks sorted. Okay, what we're looking at, uh, just Axemen at the moment in time. Well, anything. Uh... Anything offensive. So we'll just start building our bases to the back here, and then we can chuck all the military might here. All right, we'll do five. So let's go and have a look at the computer's base, what he's doing. We are playing on familiar. I think it generates just one opponent, but there is a horde mode as well. Here we go. First military might. To honestly, it's just uh, popping out as many farms as I possibly can make here. I mean, it might be worth just getting all these woodcutters to cut the wood down. Uh, 75 food there for the, uh, for the boars. I suppose getting an archer range up here. Uh, okay. Come on, lad, stop being bloody lazy. What's the idle villager button? This is the question. Oh my god, they all attack you. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, Mr. York. We're not gonna, that's the first time I attacked a boar. Pretty oh, god. They all go for you. Okay, is the, is the computer base. Interesting to see what he's actually building. He's got loads of dwellings. His barracks on the left. Nothing that... I think familiar is a little bit too easy for me. Uh, we'll do militia. Everybody gets better when they're next to the town centre. Uh, All right, we'll go for a storm. But you know what? Overall impressions against the probably. Uh, I mean, what's the idle? What's the idle peasant button? There must be an idle peasant button. Uh, select yeah, idle villagers. Well, at least we did just reap the. Uh, is he a peasant? What is that? It's a villager. Uh, okay, let's go back to wood. Go back to wood. Uh, oh, I think they get they get like a military. Uh,
Oh, this is the militia thing. Yeah, villagers are within the city centre palace that remain plus or melee range things. They become kind of well, they could become militiamen, don't they? That was actually quite. Oh god, we just. Oh yeah. Oh, get back here, laddie. All right, we'll just form a posse. Get him, lads. Stab him. Oh god, he's attacking my. Oh jeez, he's got an army. He's got an army. Where did Mister York just say he was uh, getting a bit too cocky? Uh, let's get a tower. What's the tower? Oh no, you can't literally click. You can't click shift. There's got to be a way of. Uh... Oh my god, Mister York, I think we're dead. I think we did. We got cocky, and I'm starving now. Oh my god, everything costs way too much food. I got to sell a, a, a sorry, a massive. Oh, at least this is going to decrease my population a little bit. So yeah, that was interesting actually. Yeah, I'm like that. That was actually interesting because uh. We're starving. Or at least this uh, incursion into my land is going to stop them. Uh... <laughs> yeah, minus four. So we're going to stop uh, producing things. Let's just see where I can actually just do this. Uh, slingers. Baked. Mining. Nothing that actually helps us stop food. Interesting. I love it. I really do. I actually really like it. Uh, I just need to like ram out as much food as possible here. Or at least we stop the incursion. Kick his ass. So yeah, we're at minus 23 food. Uh, we just need to now build like an absolute truckload of farms. We like, I think I expanded way too quickly there. But an interesting concept though. Uh, I need to get that tower built up though. Uh, you get that tower built up. How, how the bloody heck are we starving? Uh, can I build another granary over here? Can you get on that tower? Oh, you can! Oh, that's awesome! But we are starving. Okay, let's stop producing civilians for a bit. <laughs> uh, what's the resource cost? It's 20 food, yeah. So let's just get... These farms should produce enough food now. Yeah, it just seems they're struggling to get enough food. Even with, like... What's that? They're all worked on. We're at minus 29. Oh, God, we're regressing. So food service increase, villagers training speed, and knowledge ratio. Current villagers training speed is zero. So, yeah, we're... Let's get everybody back on food. Uh... Is that everybody doing stuff? Okay, you can go on to food. To food. So this is the amount of food just variation cubes every 10 seconds. So it's 30 food every 10 seconds. And where lack of food leads to starvation, produce productivity, revolting against you. So we're interested to see people actually revolt against us. But now everybody's literally... I'm just like, now everybody's on food because I need the food. Even that little bit of army... So this is... Is this the amount of food we have? This is the food 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that is the food we have. So... How is this not enough food? Are these pits now... Can you actually... Delete them? Oh, no. Once you built them there, that's it. Sorry, I clicked the stop recording button there. Huh? 
H2, there we go, now we're back. Oh, but here comes the computer player. It was dirty slings. Okay, we can just boost out all the stuff now. It just costs so much food. Stop throwing your dirty slings at me. That's it, keep attacking my tower, that's fine. Get in the tower. Yeah, I think farms are, in, uh, are just infinite. Uh... I think we're just like trying to produce too much, too much, uh, too much, uh, too many soldiers. Yeah, there's no like. Uh, here we go. Construct palace to research pocket ferry. There must be an advanced um, farming one. So what does it cost for a thing? Thirty-five. So it, it it a military unit is quite costly here. That's why a military unit is quite costly. But there's no, I'm surprised there's not a you can't raise this now. So the clay pits are just that's it. Well, it just seems you get everybody back on. You get everybody on farms. But he doesn't tell us how much we're producing per minute or per thing of of. Um, so we've got javelin and archer. So what does a palace cost? 200. Oh my giddy god, that's a lot of food. So furnace, uh, equip your armor with better production. So let's build a furnace. Well, everybody might as well just get back. Get on the farms, lads. There we go. Now that's properly how you're getting food. God, for a second there, even on, so we go, copper helmet, oh my god, that takes, like, a lot of, a lot of metal. So I assume the next thing is to get a resource place. So, good exploration, movement speed, so there you go, it's at rally point. Uh, so it'll be a resource place, and then we just start, we start mining. Uh... And there we go. Now we're just banging out the thing. So, yeah, we just need the extra. We need the palace, but the palace is 200 food, which would be a next. So, yeah, no, I kind of get it. Food is the key. Food is the key here. Uh, are they... oh, come on, guys, start chopping wood. So mine's for, yeah, God, but it gets expensive. It gets expensive. Yes, well, we can build archers and we can build swordsmen, but 70 food, they get pricey. Okay, so number of priests generate knowledge, eight people, siege. So can we stick people in there? Oh, you just garrison people in there. And there we go. So what have we got? Scribes, code of law, uh, training people, people starve, but 100% uh, revolted, don't revolt. Training speed, mining. So where's the good like things to actually? These are all military. Um, villages with more resources, that's a good one. Uh, bronze melting can forge equipment. Pocket equipment generates all units. Yeah, no more actually. Uh, so the wheel will be good. And now we can just build like all the nasty military units. Let's just make sure we don't spend too much food. A uh, wonder, win, oh, so you can win by a, a, a wonder victory. Uh, that excels in destroying buildings. Oh god, like, just gonna like, have to get everybody back on food production. I'm surprised there's no research for the farm. 
But if that's that's my only gripe about it. There's not many gripes. Oh, there we go. He's got the wheel. He's got the wheel. Look at him. Look at that madman go. Oh, there's the market. I was looking for it. Oh, God, we're still at a high food cost here. Battery and RAM. Sapper uh, is weak against... So has fast boot speed and strong against buildings. That's just a battering RAM. Oh, so there we go. We could just trade things into... Like excess, yeah. If we had excess food, oh my god, here they come! Can you actually hold control and build several? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna die! We're gonna die! Oh <laughs> yeah, we're dead here now. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> oh. Here we go. About to get, we got to get, we got to get raided. Oh, now the villagers get in on it. I love it. The villagers get in on it. Oh, just as I was picking it up, just as I was picking up the kind of, uh, uh, we may survive this. Uh, for I think we're gonna die here. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave it there. I actually really really enjoying uh the fertile crescent i hope we're about to lose there I, c I could play that a little bit better but when i'm recording like this and just having a little bit of mess right it's not a particular thing but there we go let's have a quick look at his base so as you can see food is certainly the uh, premise there amazing game and just, just for the basics of it it is actually really really fun definitely got vibes of age of empires the original age of empires and and slight of age of two but it combines the whole food thing and like i said they could probably expand on this really really fun click the like and subscribe button like i said ladies and gentlemen always check the link below to the steam store uh, a really really interesting take on an rts game and really enjoyable i, li I like it it's, it's off my genre but really really fun all right folks Catch you later and bye-bye.